Hey gang, welcome to your 29th and last Python 3 tutorial in this series and in this video I'm going to show you how we can download images from the web using Python. Alright, so this tutorial is actually going to be a bit of a sneak preview to one of the later series I'm going to do all about Python networking. And in this video I'm going to show you how we can reach out to the web and grab an image, download it and store it on our hard drive. So I've already created this dl underscore img.py file and also I've created this images folder in the same directory, in this projects directory right here. So the first thing we need to do is employ the help of some kind of module. So I'm going to import that first of all. So I'll say import at the top and it's going to be url lib, the url library, dot request. So we're importing that now, right? So we can use it later on. But the first thing I want to do is ask the user which image they want to download from the web so they can enter in some kind of URL, right? So I'm going to say URL equals input. So we're going to ask a user to enter in a URL. So we'll say that here, enter IMG URL to download. And then also I want to ask them for a file name. What do they want to save this as, right? So I'll say file underscore name is equal to another input statement. This time I'm going to ask them for a file name to save as. So enter file name to save as. Cool. So now we've given the user those two questions. We've got that data. Now what we want to do is actually download that image that they supplied the URL to and save it as this name right here that they give. So let's create a function that encompasses that functionality. So I'll define this function up here and I'm going to call it dl underscore im or rather jpeg, download jpeg, right? So this is going to take in some parameters. First of all, the URL, which image are we downloading? Then it's going to be a file underscore path. Where are we going to download this? In which directory? And then finally, it's going to be the file name, which the user provided down here. And that's going to be what the name of the file is. OK, so inside this function, what do we want to do? Well, first of all, we want to create the full path to where this file is going to be saved. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call this full underscore path. And I'm going to set that equal now to file path, which we supply here. And we're going to supply that later on. So that's kind of like forward slash images or whatever, the folder that we're saving it into. Then we want to concatenate that with the file underscore name. And then finally, we want to tack on at the end dot jpeg right we're saving a jpeg so now we have the full kind of path and file name and extension as to where we're going to be saving this image when we download it so now let's download it what we want to say is url lib dot request dot url retrieve can i spell retrieve i can never do it there we go and then inside here we want to pass in first of all the url to the image and then secondly, we want to supply where we want to save it to, which is going to be the full path. So what we're doing here is we're using this module to retrieve a URL, an image from the web. We're going to download it. This thing right here, this method is going to download it and it's going to save it to this path that we supply it with. And this is the path that we just created using these variables. So the file path, the file name and .jpg. And the URL we supplied here as well, which we entered in at the start. So now let's call this function. So I'm going to say down here, dl underscore image, and then we need to pass in the URL. First of all, that's the first parameter that we need, and that's what the, uh, the user provided, which is stored in this URL variable. So we can pass that in first of all. Then we need the file path. So I'm going to make this up. I'm just going to say images. So this is the images directory right here, forward slash, okay? So we add the forward slash because after that, it's just going to be the file name that we tack onto it. And by the way, this should be a plus. OK, so now we need to pass through that file name, the user input. So I'm going to pass in that variable. So I'll say file underscore name. And now we can run this file. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to work. So I'm going to run this file by saying python dl underscore image dot py. Do we have an error? Not so far. So let's enter an image to download. Now, I'm just going to go to the best website on the internet and uh, copy the image address of this image right here. So we'll just download that. And then what we're going to do is paste it in here. So that's the image we want to download. Then we need to enter a file name to save this as. I'm just going to call this async, right? So async. And it's going to tack on a .jpg at the end right here. So I'll press enter. And we get an error. And that's because dl underscore image is not defined. It's dl underscore jpeg. 
knew it wouldn't work the first time around. But anyway, save that, let's run it again. Uh, download image, and we'll paste this URL in again. We'll call it async. And this time, come on, download. Yes, we have successfully downloaded this image. And we can see that pop up now in this images folder right here where we saved it. And if we click on that, we can see this amazing image right here, okay? So there we go, my friends. That is how we can use this module right here to download an image using this method, supplying the URL and the full path that we're saving it to. And uh, yeah, that's like I say, a sneak preview into an up and coming series uh, very soon uh, where we're gonna look at networking with Python. So that's it for this series now, uh, 29 lessons in. I hope it's been of some benefit to you and you've enjoyed it along the way as well. Like I said, more Python series coming soon going to do two. I'm going to do a networking series and also I'm going to look at Django, creating websites with Django. So I'll see you guys in those playlists.